Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am cooking a comfort meal for us today. It has got chicken involved in it. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button. And today I am making a tomato masala chicken curry. I'm so excited. You guys know I love a chicken curry. I've actually made a playlist of chicken recipes and it's got so many different kinds of chicken curries and they are all different. The ingredients are slightly different. The end result is different. So if you are a chicken curry fan, you might want to go through them. Anyways, so I'm going to start the chicken curry by frying some things let's get cooking and not waste any more time there are a few good things about this curry it's really simple i'm going to use just one pan to prepare the whole thing which is great also it's quite healthy and delicious i am going to here start with four onions and i'm just going to thinly slice them It'll all be worth it. Oh my God. Right, that's the onions done. I'm going to get this pan nice and hot. So I'm going to start with a good three to four tablespoons of oil. Get it nice and hot. I don't need to add anything to it. Just cook the onions. Now I'm going to cook this for around a good eight to ten minutes until they are beautifully golden. So it's been 10 minutes and this is looking beautifully golden. Smells insanely good. And what I'm gonna do is get these onions out. So I've turned it off and I'm just gonna get this in a sieve just so any kind of extra oil, look it's already dripping down, will go back in the pan because I'm gonna use the same pan to cook the rest of the dish so that I don't have to do any washing up and I can serve it in the same pan as well. While the onions are kind of sitting there draining of excess oil, I'm gonna prep some ginger garlic. I have got here around four to five garlic cloves and I'm just gonna peel them and just thinly slice them both the ginger and the garlic i'm going to use two green chilies now you can either finely chop these all or you could just slit them so now that i've peeled these i am just going to make really thin slices actually you know i might just finely chop it you can do what you like use lots of ginger and garlic now that the ginger and garlic is prepped, I'm going to prep six tomatoes and this I'm just going to thinly slice, not chop it up. So I've got tomatoes ready, I've got ginger garlic chili ready, I have got all this oil that has come out of the onions which is exactly how much I need to make the curry. So I'm not going to add any more to this, that's going to be plenty. So got the pan nice and hot, I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and just then goes in the ginger garlic and the chilies, nice lovely mix. Give it a couple of minutes. So it just takes a minute to kind of get it a little bit of a color in there and then we add in the tomatoes. Now I'm just gonna reduce this to like medium heat right now it was on high and now I'm gonna cook this nice and slowly for around 10-15 minutes till the time basically the tomatoes just get really mushy. Give it a few minutes for that. So I have got here eight chicken thighs. I usually get it from the butchers and they get rid of the skin if you want them. So these are eight, eight chicken thighs on the bone, no skin. And I'm just going to tidy them up a little bit while the tomatoes are cooking. So there, I've taken off all the extra fat from there, which I prefer to do. And then these are the chicken thighs ready for the pan. So the chicken is ready. And here we've got the tomatoes all cooked down. This is what I meant by kind of really mushy and soft. We're broken down completely and I'm going to add the spices. For the spices, I have got here starting with salt. So a teaspoon of salt because we've got a lot of chicken. 
also going to add a teaspoon of red chili powder i'm adding a little bit less but you can add more if you like a teaspoon of turmeric powder make sure that you turn the heat low so it doesn't burn the spices a teaspoon of garam masala two teaspoons of ground coriander and i'm just going to add a teaspoon of sugar because there's so much tomato in here you need to balance the flavor so give it a good mix and immediately add like 200 ml of boiling water first of all because i want to stop the spices from burning and this is going to give it just the tiniest bit of liquid to start off the curry so a good mix and then i'm going to add the chicken Now, I usually cook the chicken for around 40 to 45 minutes. That is cooking on a medium to low heat, somewhere between that. That is a good amount of time to kind of let it cook through. So that is the chicken looking gorgeous. I'm going to cover this because I had lowered the heat. I'm going to put it back to medium low. And then I'm going to leave this alone for 45 minutes. I'm going to put a timer on and make myself a cup of tea. It has been exactly 30 minutes my timer has just gone off for 30 minutes glorious and now i'm gonna add in fried onions i'll just pinch for garnish for later get that going mix it up and i'm gonna cover and cook this for another 10 15 minutes now it's been a total of 40 minutes i cooked for another 10 minutes after adding the onions and now i'm gonna uncover and cook it for the last five minutes because i want a slightly thicker gravy right now it's got a lot of liquid in it if you want you can have a lot of liquid in it but i prefer without this much liquid because i'm going to be serving it with piping hot chapatis so a couple more things to add now so i'm gonna add two tablespoons of dried fenugreek which is kasuri methi you can easily find it in asian supermarkets and if you've been cooking my recipes then you definitely have it already and a couple of tablespoons of double cream goes in as well now this is looking perfect and i can turn off the heat it smells so good so I've turned the heat off and I have said this before with other chicken curries and I'm going to say it again in case you are new to the channel. At this stage, this is ready. You can serve it straight away. Absolutely no problem. Now, we have got a couple of hours before it's dinner time for us and I try and make this a little bit in advance so that I can let it sit. The reason being that you can try both ways. You can try it straight away. It tastes amazing in both the cases, but in this case, where you let it sit it just does something the chicken is more it's juicier because it's sat in this curry for a couple more hours so yeah i'm gonna cover and let it rest before i serve it with piping hot chapatis if you haven't checked out my chapati video i will leave the link in the description please do check out that's a very very good video for making chapatis at home and now it's time to taste Okay guys, I always get so excited when it comes to tasting, seriously. They will go so well with a garlic naan or a chapati. Like I said, I'm going to make chapati today. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. I really hope you will try this and 
and also check out my other chicken recipes you can find a lot of different playlists on the channel till then bye and i'll see you again very soon with another new recipe yummy amazing